Okay, class, we're resuming our talk on the histology of compact bone. To bring us up to date again, we had this wedge model that we and identified the point, the parts. Identified the parts. Okay. I want to show now with let's say we took a cutter and made a thin slice of part of this and put it on a microscope and stained it. So this picture here would show that. Okay, this would be a thin slice shaved, called a ground bone section. We grind it down. Looking at it this way, this is the periosteum. This is on a slide. This is the outer fibrous layer of the periosteum. Okay, in here would have been the inner osteogenic, or inner cellular layer. Right here would be our circumferential lamellae. That would be the circumferential lamellae. So let's go back. See, that's the circumferential, because it's a slice, circumferential lamellae. This would be the little vascular channels that you would see, which would have been these here. Okay. And... So these, these, this is what you're seeing here. And this, so this is a stained section showing you that. All right. So let's go a little further now. Let's go further. Okay. So we have that. So here again is this picture here. Here's the one we had before. That's that one there. Here's this. Okay. Now what we're doing... I'm taking this picture here, come over here, and we see all of these osteons with their concentric lamellae. Concentric lamellae. Right here is one osteon, and remember the angulation is different to give support and strength. Here we're right here, opening this up, and we see here these blood vessels in there. Okay. That's where we are up to now. Now what I want to do is I want to shave down a thin section again. Shave down a thin section again. And what we're talking about now is looking at these whole these little dots right here. Now these particular dots right here that you see which have been stained with a silver stain they are called lacunae, lacunae, okay? And inside a lacunae, you would have an osteocyte inside a lacunae. Now, with this here, I'm going to try to expand this a little bit. Look at those wiggly lines coming from the lacunae. Those are called canaliculi. Those are called canaliculi. So the canaliculi, again, see, that's where that video can really help you. The canaliculi feed into the lacunae. And in the lacunae would be an osteocyte. See, here's that osteocyte right there. So that cut-out area of bone there is the lacunae. Now, the osteocyte, if you recall, had these appendages. The osteocyte had these appendages, okay? Because when it got, when it slimmed down, let's see if I can go up here and find an osteocyte. Okay, there we are. Here's an osteocyte. When it slimmed down, it had these appendages. And what we need to do is hook one osteocyte. Now, here's how the, the thing's going to be. We need to hook one osteocyte to another osteocyte by gap junction, so that oxygen and food can go into there. So oxygen and food. So when you come here, we go up, then this blood vessel, let me, let me blow up, this blood vessel here will deliver oxygen and food into, because see, here's that, here's that central canal. That's that central canal. Coming off the central canal, here's a blood vessel, you would then have the first process, the first process 
of a osteocyte tipping close to this. The blood vessel then would deliver oxygen and food into that the appendage of that osteocyte. Now the appendage here would be in the canaliculi. So let's go back. The lacunae has the cell body and the canaliculi have the processes. The lacunae has the cell body and these little canaliculi have these processes. And then a osteocyte is connected to another osteocyte by these gap junctions. So the way the thing would go, the artery brings it in, process of first osteocyte picks up something. That is carried into the cell body. Whatever that doesn't use, it passes through the other arms to the next osteocyte. It picks up what it can use. Then it goes to the next one. Then waste comes back the other way. It, and the waste then would go into the veins. Because remember in there would be both an, would be artery and vein. The waste would go into the vein part of the whole thing. So the waste goes into the vein. Let's see if I can find, there's a vein right there. So the aversion system, again the movie will help. The aversion system is bring in good stuff here in the artery. Def allow the first process of the osteocyte to tip its finger here close. So you pick up the good oxygen and nutrients. Take that up into the cell body of the first osteocyte. So it gets the first share. What it doesn't use, go to the next one through this arm here, and you would hook to the next one right here. Th these arms would be in the canaliculi. So then over here, I would have another lacunae with the second cell body. Pick up what you want there, then take it to the third, then the fourth. Now you've got to see that you cannot have too many concentric lamellae, because by the time you get, if it's too many, what's the last, the, the, the uh, osteocytes in the last concentric lamella are going to get nothing because you run out. You see what I'm saying? You run out of stuff. So you pass and then any waste comes back the other way. So you see, you see in that sophisticated pipeline system, that sophisticated pipeline system in order to keep these cells living. Then what happens is as osteoclasts eat away bone to release calcium, then this guy, see right now, it's only getting oxygen through the little fingers. But if an osteoclast comes in and kind of opens this out, then it gets more oxygen, and then it's going to return to the osteoblast stage. Check me out. It's going to return to the osteoblast stage, because now it's got more oxygen, it can grow back up, and then it's going to replace that bone again, here we go. It's going to replace that bone again that the osteoclast. But the osteoclast ate it away for these reasons. To eat bone to release calcium and phosphorus. Remember, bone is a depository for calcium and phosphorus. And are to do remodeling. And are to do remodeling of the bone. But you have to put the bone back. So once the osteocyte remember, which is a resting one. The only reason it went into rest, it didn't have enough oxygen, but it had enough just to keep it living. When it's released, then it can start growing back up again. Start growing back up again. So that's basically what you're seeing here in this particular. So let's go a little further, see what else I have. So right here again is to show that sliver coming from that long bone. And here would be your osteons with your concentric lamellae there. Here's the nutrient for Raymond. Here would be the aversion canal, named by the guy that described it, but also known as the central canal. There's that aversion canal. Remember, that's where the artery, veins, nerves, and everything are in, and you deliver into that. Here are the concentric lamellae. So you got plenty of pictures to kind of get an idea. Now, this is sponges. We're talking about compact. We'll get to sponge in a little bit. We're talking about compact. Okay, so that's what that picture is. All right, 
Here is a ground bone section. Now let's go here. Here is a ground bone section there. Okay. So I'm going to come back here and put this in play with this. Okay. Ground bone section. All right. This right here would be one osteon. This would be the central canal. These dots here would be the lacunae where the osteocytes are in. These would be the canaliculi where you have the processes of the osteocyte in. Okay. This would be the concentric lamellae there. Okay. Plates of bone. Now, when you see this cut right here, because see, all you're doing is just slicing, 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 slicing. So in this cut, when you slice down, it happened to be at an angulation here. Now, if that occurs, then not only would you see the round hole, you would also see this lateral cut of bone here coming in. That lateral cut of bone would you'd be looking at the Volkman. So this is a Volkman leading into a central canal, a Haversian canal. Now, in this slice here, I want you to note, notice, right here, these are concentric lamellae, but between these, between these, they aren't in concentric circles. These are called interstitial lamellae interstitial lamellae. Let's write that down. See if I can get something going here. That area there, they're in a laminated, so inter, let's see here. These are interstitial lamellae. They are laminated, lamellated, but they are not in concentric circles. They're not in concentric circles. So right here are interstitial lamellae between this. Now, and so right here on that this drawing, they would be right there. See that interstitial? That's in between. Now, when you remodel bone, these areas, because you because the, the osteoclast is going to cut a big plug. It's not going to go straight down here. It's just going to come where it wants to come. So it may come in. That's why you see some of these running into one another. It comes, and then the osteoblasts available start laying down new layers of bone. Each, each concentric lamellae has a different group of osteoblasts. That's why the collagen is laid down at different angles, because you have a population osteoblast that lay that down. Now, the first ones that's going to be, when you think about it, when you cut the hole out, this would be a hole, let's say osteoclast, so you'd have the osteoblast out here. They'd lay the first layer. Then they'd form a shelf where another group of osteoblasts, but each are laying down at different angulations. Purpose of the different angulations, again, is so it won't split apart. So it won't split apart. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So that's kind of how it goes in that particular scenario there. So again, this here is what we have here. Okay, so we go a little further here. This is to show you again that artery, the vein, the lamellae, and so forth. Here again would be pulling out this. Here's spongy bone right there. But here's here's one of those one of those osteons. Here's the artery and vein, and this is a good blow up of that particular aspect. See the see right there? Central canal and these holes here. So look at that. You can now an analogize that to what you have. Here's this, even a larger one. You have all of these to kind of look at. Okay. Now, we're going to close this one and then start on spongy bone on the very next one. We're going to start on spongy bone on the very next one so we can see that and then kind of, and then go from there. So that's where we're going next is, is spongy bone. All right. Thank you.